Hey everybody, this is Modern Refugee out here doing a little work tonight. It's cold out here too. I uh, thought I'd take a few minutes to uh, show you guys uh, one of the old time tools that I keep in my preps and talk about them for a second. What these are are kerosene lanterns. And a kerosene lantern is a more robust uh, cousin to the decorative glass oil lamps that people will keep in their uh, houses for power outages and stuff. But there's some reasons that I like kerosene lanterns uh, over like a Coleman lantern. Um, Coleman lanterns, you're constantly messing with mantles. Uh, the bases on them are usually narrower. Or they're sitting on a propane bottle, um, so they're a little bit more tipsy than what these uh, kerosene lanterns are. These kerosene lanterns usually have a real flat, wide base on them. Um, that's why I prefer the uh, kerosene lanterns over the Coleman lanterns. Another thing is, is the uh, wicks um, that these take are the same wicks that uh, will go in the uh, decorative uh, glass oil lamps that you have in your house. So if you have a wick for the one in the house you can also use them in these kerosene lanterns um, another thing that I like is the dual fuel aspect of these a lot of preppers will keep uh, those kerosene space heaters uh, in their preps uh, for power outages or for extra heat but that kerosene that you use in those heaters you can also use in the kerosene uh, uh, lanterns as well as regular lamp oil so you uh, got a kind of a couple different fuel options with these uh, kerosene lanterns uh, that I like another thing um, I like about the kerosene lanterns is, is they uh, have the ability to keep you a little bit warm so if you're wrenching on a car on something in the dark and it's cold and kind of a confined area you can use these to warm up with that's something that you're not going to get with a uh, LED uh, lantern with a battery in it um, these guys will provide warmth um, I got some set out here on my workbench I'm going to kind of tip my camera down here and go over these with you real quick kind of how these work um, this one right here, this is like my little flashlight model right here, holds about a cup and a half of fuel. Um, if you don't need a lot of light, this is what this guy is uh, used for here. Then I have a bit of an oddity. This one has a red uh, lens in it, and this is what's called a railroad lantern. Um, this would be used uh, back in the day to signal on the railroads, but uh, like any other red lens light, whether it's a uh, flashlight or it's a headlamp, if you don't want to broadcast your... Uh, you know, light around to the area when you're doing something, uh, something like this uh, will give you a little bit of light where you can work, but it's not going to shine like a uh, regular lantern will. And uh, this guy right here, this is kind of my main one that I use most. Uh, you can see here that wide flat base that I was telling you about. All of these uh, lanterns are going to have some type of uh, fuel cap and where you fill the fuel in. This, like I said, this one here is probably holds a pint and a half or so. I've never really measured it of uh, fuel. And if the wick's turned down, it'll burn all night. Um, the only thing that you really need to do for maintenance for these guys is from time to time you have to clean these globes because, of course, the lamp oil and the uh, kerosene uh, will leave a little bit of soot. And what you do is, is you pull the top up like so, and you're going to just tip the uh, little glass cage to the back and then uh, your globe's going to come out and then you can just wash this with a little warm soap and water, a little Windex, whatever you happen to have. And uh, then as you see right here, this is where the wick goes in and this just turns in with a flange tab and uh, you can lift this right out and that's how you'd replace the wick in here and this is also how you would trim the wick if this uh, wick gets a little frayed and stuff it's not going to give you a solid light so you're going to want to trim that from time to time but anyway I'm going to put this globe back in here real quick get it seated where it needs to be uh, now I'm going to go over a couple of the other parts on this and uh, how to light this actually. This little turn knob right here, all kerosene lanterns are going to have some little turn knob like this that raises and lowers the wick and this will uh, kind of adjust how much light that you're going to get out of this guy right here. And then they're going to have some type of uh, lifting handle on it and that's going to lift the globe up so you can light it and you can also uh, put it out. So what you do is you push this handle down and you push it in. There's going like, to be a locking tab and then that lifts the globe up enough where you can light this and then you're going to take your ignition source I got some matches here pull one of these guys out light it and then all you do is reach in and just touch that to the wick now you're going to take this handle you can see a little bit of smoke coming out and you're going to lower that down you can see that that uh, kind of brings the flame down where it needs to be and then you can raise and lower this you can turn this down if you just need a little bit of light or uh, if you need a lot of light when you're working you're going to turn this up and then uh, the reverse of this when you want to blow this out you're just going to pick this up 
kind of push that over into the notch and then you're going to just blow it out and that's all there's to it to uh, putting these out but uh anyway just wanted to share this uh with you guys if you guys didn't have never seen a kerosene lantern before or uh if you've never used one before, I'll give you a little bit of a tutorial here of how they work. Like I said, I like these uh, in my preps, and that's why I uh, keep these. These here are kind of traditional ones. I know you can get Chinese-made knockoffs in different places, but uh, a couple of these are really handy to have around, especially if you uh, plan on doing some outdoor work or something. And uh, like I said, they give off a fair amount of light. But anyway... I just wanted to share this with you guys. Hope you guys got a little information, a little entertainment out of this video here. I appreciate all my subscribers, and I hope you guys have a great night.